What up guys, Miguel here of Tech, and let's say you guys need an immediate upgrade from that phone you just broke but you're kinda on a tight budget. Well, for around 13,000 pesos, you can get yourself a Huawei Y9 Prime 2019. But before you guys go rushing to the Huawei store, please do remember to finish this review so you can figure out if this device is the right one for you. Roll OBB! Starting off with design, at the back of the device you'll notice the two-tone design that Huawei went for here. Kinda reminiscent of the Pixel devices to be honest. The back is made of plastic, don't get me wrong, but it does do a pretty good job of making it feel like glass when you first touch it. It's also a very sturdy polycarbonate material which does a good job of making the phone feel like it's more expensive than it actually is. Also found on the back is that triple rear camera setup and rear mounted fingerprint scanner. Our unit is in the emerald green color and honestly, images online make this phone look way better than it actually does. I also find that the sapphire blue color look fly as well. I don't think you guys could go wrong with any of these color choices, but if you're not into any of those, there's a midnight black option too. In front, you get a true all screen display, which I believe is the number one selling point of this device. This is possible via a pop out selfie camera up top. You still get a little bit of a chin on this device, but I'm sure it's so that your fingers still have some space to swipe up from. The speaker grill for regular calls can be found in line with the top bezel. For buttons and ports, starting up top, aside from the pop-up camera, you can find the hybrid dual SIM card tray and a noise-canceling mic for speakerphone. At the right, you can find the power button as well as the volume rocker. Lastly, at the bottom, you can find the 3.5mm audio jack, USB Type-C port, noise-canceling mic for regular calls, and a single downward firing speaker. Now, I can say I'm really a fan of what Huawei did here, but... Aesthetically, I do feel like they played it a little bit too safe. Take for example the two-tone back. The fact that I keep calling it a two-tone back when it actually isn't even two-tone at all is kinda confusing to say the least. Huawei's marketing team actually just calls it a dividing line because, well it is. All it does is actually give off the impression that the top and bottom of the back are slightly different from each other, where in fact, the reason the top gradient is slightly different is due to that rear-mounted fingerprint scanner being placed well there. Up next, let's take a deeper look at what I think is the number one selling point of this device, the display. The Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 gets a 6.59 inch Full HD Plus LTPS LCD display. In terms of display protection, you don't get any of that on this device, so I do recommend you slap a better screen protector on this device, especially if you aren't satisfied with the one that comes in the box. For media consumption, the fact that this display is completely unobstructed is great. And that's actually why I think this is the biggest selling point of this device. If you're someone who just likes to consume media on your phone all day and is on a pretty tight budget, this thing is awesome. Though, if you're coming from an OLED panel, you shouldn't be surprised to find that the contrast would most likely be better on your previous display. And I do think brightness could be a little bit better on the Y9 Prime 2019. Since we're talking media consumption, we definitely have to give those speakers a listen as well. And to be frank, they aren't that good. Volume seriously needs an improvement for a larger device, the sound that comes from its speaker makes it feel small. To be fair, soundstage does sound good for a single downward firing speaker, but what's the point when it doesn't get loud enough. And when you max out the volume at 100%, you do hear some sort of distortion as well. Luckily, you still get a headphone jack here and Bluetooth is still a thing. So if you're planning to turn this thing into your media consumption machine, make sure you've got your audio coming from a headset. Next up, performance. For hardware, the Y9 Prime 2019 is equipped with a high silicone Kirin 710F chipset and a Mali G51 MP4 GPU. For RAM and storage options, the only configuration officially available locally is the 4GB of RAM plus 128GB of internal storage option. It's also worth mentioning that you do get expandable storage of up to 512GB if you decide to use that hybrid card slot for a micro SD card instead of a second SIM. For software, you get Android 9 Pie out of the box with EMUI 9 skinned on top. Oh, and did you guys hear? The Huawei ban's been lifted, so yay Huawei users! Though still not my favorite skin, EMUI 9 is still a pretty straightforward UI that gives you some helpful tips if you are new to the interface. I did find that having a larger screen was extremely useful for productivity work. Intensive gaming on this device could be improved, but since I don't find myself gaming too much nowadays, I didn't find it to be too much of an upset. If you're interested in benchmark scores, I'll have them flash on screen now.
For battery, the Y9 Prime 2019 gets a 4000 mAh cell with no form of fast charging. With PC Mark's battery test, the Y9 Prime 2019 achieved a score of 16 hours and 15 minutes. In her standard video loop test, which entails the phone being at 50% brightness, 50% volume, airplane mode turned on, and with headphones plugged in, the device lasted a pretty good 18 hours and 53 minutes. When it comes to biometric security, like I mentioned earlier, this device gets a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner. And registering my fingerprint on it was so much faster than on any in-display scanner out there right now, it literally got me nostalgic. I really miss how fast a fingerprint scanner can be. I do want to mention that despite the very quick fingerprint registration, unlocking the device still actually took about a second, so still not the fastest I've used, but it's still pretty reliable. And go figure, that's the only form of biometric security on this device. And if you have this device, you should honestly honestly feel great to still know that a really good capacitive fingerprint scan is still faster than those fancy in-display ones. Last but not the least, the cameras. The Y9 Prime 2019 gets a triple camera setup that consists of a 16 megapixel main shooter, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel sensor for depth information. On the front facing side of things, up top you can find that 16 megapixel pop up selfie camera, and that's that. Alright, so what are we waiting for? Let's get into those samples. In this shot, we're taking a look at dynamic range, and for a phone of this caliber, it's not too shabby. The shadows and blacks in the image are very contrasty, and I'm pretty sure those blacks are clipped. Next, we have part of the Makati skyline again. Here we can see that in terms of sharpness, the Y9 Prime 2019 really doesn't do that bad. Colors do look a little washed out in my opinion though. Here we have a part of the skyway. This is on the one X of the device and same thing, dynamic range isn't that bad at all, but those blacks have again clipped. This is what the shot looks like on the device's ultra wide. On the ultra wide mode, the contrast doesn't seem to be as aggressive as on the one X, but overall image quality does take a hit here. Checking out portrait mode now. Here we have Ira working hard as one of Yugatex top riders. The subject background separation in this shot isn't the best. The image quality also takes a big hit here too. Overall image quality could be better, but for how much this device costs, it's pretty usable in my opinion. Moving to night mode. This is what the shot looked like taken on the default photo mode. Honestly, my naked eye doesn't remember the scene being this dark, but okay. This is with night mode on. Clearly the image got brighter overall, we also got way more color in the shot. It's definitely not as good as the night mode shots you can get from something like the P30 or the P30 Pro, but I wouldn't be surprised if they used a very similar, if not the same, software, being a Huawei phone and all. Next up, we have some taxidermy. This is what the shot looked like with the lights on. This is what the camera saw in the default photo mode when I turned the lights off. This is with night mode on. Yes, it's still quite a dark image and noise is very much evident, but we gotta give the phone props for turning a pitch black image to at least this. Now we have me taking a portrait selfie. I honestly don't know if it even worked here. I don't see any obvious subject background separation here, so... Next image. Here I'm taking a portrait selfie against some harsh backlighting and the photo did come out okay, but again, the subject background separation is a little too weak for my taste. So if you guys are into portrait photos, rear or selfie portrait shots from this device is definitely something I do not recommend. For video, the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 is capable of shooting up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The video sample should be playing right now and I do find it to be usable, especially in average lighting conditions. Other than that, there really isn't anything too amazing about it. Now, to conclude this review, we now have to talk price. The Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 is now available locally in Huawei stores nationwide and since the Huawei ban is over, there really isn't anything to fear in that regard. Now for 12,990 pesos, I want to be straight with you guys, you guys will be getting a nice big unobstructed display, pretty good battery life, and EMUI 9. And if that's literally all you guys need and value in a phone, then I do recommend you guys getting a Huawei Y9 Prime 2019. Although, if you guys weren't too anal with your user interfaces, and you guys wanted a little bit more power for gaming, then I do want to recommend one of our budget favorites, the Realme 3 Pro. Check out our full review of that up here. So, what did you guys think of the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.